Okay, I think I got this. Hi guys. Um, this is uh, my second clock that I'm working on. So far, uh, I'll give you a recap. This had an old label on it from a estate sale. I picked these up three, three for eight dollars. So I basically sanded off the label. Um, that was a process. It took a while, but I got it off. Then I gessoed this. And then this is its second coat of black paint. The second coat of black paint has just been put on. It's still wet. So while it's wet, by the way, this is going to be a uh, galaxy pour. I did one in a much smaller scale. And I'm going to try it on this clock. I think it's going to be very nice, very cool. So I've got some glitters I want to put on here. I've got this purple glitter. I've got some of this blue glitter. Um, got this, it's a Creatology glitter. I got it from Michaels. It's got two in there, but I want to use a smaller, a smaller uh, glitter. And then some black glitter. <clears throat> So, um, what you do here, you just do a very little bit, and you want to make sure you get the right amount. So, yeah, I just put some in my hand, just like that. We don't want it to be too much. We just want it to be subtle. So, I'm just sprinkling it. So, just have a little shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see it going on. But it's going on very, very fine. It's very fine. Okay. Here's my blue glitter. I'm going to do basically the same thing. Put some in my hand. It's not very much, but maybe half a teaspoon. And put that in there very lightly, very lightly. You don't want, they don't want to be overpowering. This is actually, I think, too dark maybe, or too... Uh, What's the word? It's showing through too much, maybe. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try to put it very sparingly. Okay, I think that's actually too much. So I'm gonna put this back in a little cup or something. Save it for something. Okay. So there's that. And here's my purple glitter. Woo! I thought this was small flakes, but it looks like they're big flakes. So this is not going to be very much of this. Again, put a small amount. I think I put some silver glitter last time. I hope to see if I got some. Just very, very, very very fine amount. I don't even know if you could see that on camera, <clears throat> but there you have it. So, I uh, don't know if I have silver. Yes, I do. Of course I do. Okay. But just a little bit of silver. Just, just a little bit. We want this to look twinkly, but we don't want it to look like it's got a lot of glitter on it. So, just going to just do this. Okay. There. It has just a little bit of glitter. Just enough to give it some shimmer. Okay. And then the next step <coughs> of this project is to dot it somehow with stars so there's several ways you can do this I think what I'm going to do is use a toothpick back up on my toothpicks got them got them got them got them okay <clears throat> and of course you just need a little bit of white paint and very minute amount of white paint so shake this up a little bit okay this is a pearlescent white and really you just need you really hardly need any <clears throat> I haven't done it this way with the toothpick but I thought it would be a good way to just get some uh, star 
star looking things without it being oh that might not be big enough yeah you just have to have a little bit more thicker dot on there and you could just shake it off of a toothbrush or the back of a um, paintbrush, I think, or something like that. One lady I saw her use the back of a paintbrush. I'm just doing it randomly. And for my point of reference, I've got this little stick here. Uh, just, that is where the uh, current uh, hanger is in the back of this to hang it up on the wall. Just to give me an idea of the top. You might, I probably won't even use a little hanger that's on there because I have a whole different setup. But, you know, I might as well try to stick to that original. Because my the way I have it, I've, I've, I've kept that as my as my top basically so I want it to be somewhat accurate okay this this is going too fast I'm going too fast I think I don't want to go too fast This is starting to dry already, this paint. I gotta show you guys my dog. My scary little dog. Okay. Lots of stars in the sky. Space. Outer space. This is actually not working too bad now. The paint is actually a good little got a good little uh, points on there without being too much I'm gonna give it a turn so I can see how my stars look bunny don't be so rude bigger stars smaller stars you get the idea And then after this is all done, I'm going to let it dry and uh, I'm going to get some resin out and some tints and go to town with the blow dryer. And I think we're going to have a really good piece here for a clock. But we'll be in stages. Okay. I wish you guys could tell me if I have enough stars in the sky or not. I don't know when to stop. I'm just gonna. Whoop. My litter is in the way. Okay. There's the top again. I'm just going to do a little bit more. My paint's almost gone anyway. I 
I might have to fix up some of these because some of them look more like little comets, if you know what I mean. At least I can put these where I want them. And you can't really get that with a, tooth, a toothbrush that you just flake it off. But it probably might look better. I really don't know. But... Okay, I think we're just about there. Oh, I wish I could just do this all day long without a, a care in the world, guys, but... I do have a full-time job so I've only got nights and weekends to work on any projects and of course recording and I really suck at videos I really really do and I don't know if I'm ever gonna have the time to get better at it I really don't know Okay, I think, I mean, this paint's almost gone. See, it's like, here, it's almost gone. I'm turn it again. That's looking pretty good. Can you see that? Does that look like a starlit sky? Or starlit, not sky. Space, universe. Whatever you want to call it. Cosmos. Okay. Like I said, once you get started, you don't know when to stop. <laughs> I do have a sound of Lazy Susan, and I'll tell you that makes it a lot easier. Yeah, the fun is really going to begin when I do the resin. And that actually won't even take this long, that long. It'll take longer to mix it up than anything else, I think. Okay, I'm going to stop there. And some of these, I think, are uh, too big or too blotchy. Like this one, I think, is too much. This brush is not really good. It sucks, actually. Uh, let me try it with this, maybe. Maybe just a dry toothpick. I don't know. I'm going to figure this out as I go. Maybe this, this uh, silicone brush. Oops, that's going to make it worse, I think. If I can just go like that on my finger. Maybe. Kind of thin it out a little bit. I don't want it to look. I don't know. It really doesn't look that bad. I'm just if I play with it too much, I might, I might actually mess it up, and I don't want to do that. But that doesn't look right to me. Let's see. Maybe I will dab it. Thank you. 
Just a little dab. That might work the best. Yeah. Yeah, that got rid of the tail thing that was going. I don't think I'll be able to fix all the problems with it. I don't think there are even really problems. It just, you know, if it bothers me a little bit, I'm going to try to fix it. You know what would probably work? The Q-tips. I don't have any in here. But... This, that would be the best solution. That looks a little too thick to me. Now it looks like it had no... Put just a little bit back. Uh, where'd it go? one. Anyway, you get the idea. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. I think I got it pretty much how I want it. Uh, I'm going to have to get this. Let me pause it and I'll bring it down if I can figure that out. Go back to that. Is it on? Okay. Let's see if I can do this. Sorry for that glare, but here's the the surface of it. So when it's dry, I'm going to come back and make my next video so I can get started on the next phase of it. Well, I think you guys get the idea. That glitter is actually sticking up. I don't think that's a problem, but it is sticking up. Oh, sorry. I can't see where this is going. <laughs> but I think you get the idea. There's the hole in the middle somewhere, if you can see it. And of course I'm going to come up for... So you can see the big picture. Anyway. I think uh, this is going to look pretty cool. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video on the next stage. All right, bye.